Just as there is power in the blood, power in the name, power in prayer, there's also power in the words that you speak. More specifically, I'm not just talking about speaking good things about yourself. I am talking about the power of speaking blessing over someone else's life. I, I want you to know that it is so important that you understand that you have the power to bless people. And as you speak it, God will honor it. Because the power of life and death is in your tongue. So in the conclusion of this message about the blessing of God that's upon you, I want you to understand that God not only wants to bless you, but he wants to make you a blessing. He wants to bring you to a place where you're not greedy and selfish with the blessing of God, but that you're willing to look at your son, your daughter, your mother, your husband, your wife, your father, even your family members and beyond, your friends, your co-workers, and just bless them. When you see them down, amen, sometimes all they need is a word spoken over them. Tell them your best is yet to come. Throughout the week, find somebody and tell them, amen, God wants to bless you. God wants to favor you. God wants to honor you. The worlds were framed by the words of God. And if there's power in my word, there's got to be power in your word. Just speak the word only. There's power in what you say. That's why you got to watch what you say. You need to have blessing in your mouth. You need to have encouragement in your mouth. You need to have the word of God in your mouth. You need to have a prophetic word in your mouth. Because there's power in the spoken word.